3080 from EVGA XC3 Ultra uh, and we're going to replace the thermal pads on this I have several sizes half millimeter one millimeter two millimeters and three millimeters I already did some work here I've disconnected the the fans the three fans they come colored which is very easy to know which one goes where and uh, I did kind of uh, well warranty not voided um, sticker removal I did this with a with one of these razor blades just get it over there at the bottom and scrape the um, adhesive the sticker um, from the bottom of it and uh, let's go opening up I'm gonna brush this this is very very dirty I don't know if you can see it but the blades underneath are completely brown this is dust I had to open my windows because this was very very hot I end up opening windows and I had lots lots of dust where I had this card and uh, we're gonna open it replace the pads and clean it up Let's check the temperatures. Uh, we didn't see the um, the results before, but uh, there's been two main steps here. Uh, before I was doing around 96 degrees. I was actually struggling to have 96 degrees on the memory 
my big question here was the memory, the memory temperature. And uh, I couldn't overclock it, literally. I would set one megahertz of overclock just to make the, the clock stable and leave it there during the day. And the, even that way, it would be uh, mining like 96, at 96 degrees. I know these cars, they can do up to 106 or something like that. That's the thermal limit. Then they will throttle. Uh, but it was doing that. I I used the pads just on the memory modules. I replaced them, and uh, I was getting uh, something like uh, 88, 86 degrees. I don't have uh, footage of that, but I do have the logs because I set my logs. I can show you here. I was doing about 100 mega hash. Here we have one uh, today at. 1755 I was doing 100 100.10 mega hash 59 on the clock and um, on the GPU and 86 at the memories 232 watts that's 350 shares and right now we are doing 56 uh, I understand it's already night and it's, it's a bit cooler uh, that's normal, but usually the temperature would go up to 86 or 88 degrees, something like that. And right now it's staying very, very stable at 82, sometimes 80, 84. There's 80, there's 82. So I'm having these results because I've placed the thermal pads on the opposite side of the memory chips and uh, and the V and uh, on the opposite side also of the VRMs, the um, electrical stabilizers um, that give electricity to to the circuit board, and uh, that has made a very big improvement. I've seen some other guys uh, talking about it, and I decided to give it a try. And uh, yes, it's totally worth it if you're opening one of your cards, uh, and your card has a metal backplate use it, uh, put a, a thermal pad also on the opposite side of the VRMs. It will help you to cool down the, um, the card because the VRMs, they work very hot and they will end, end up uh, getting all the other components hot because of that feature. They usually tend to run very hot. And as you can see, I'm doing 96.7 mega hash. This is still going, uh, still going up. Just gonna show you the, my settings. This is my memory clocks my GPU is uh, 1065 power limit is 84 is currently doing 81 uh, the fans are at 100% and uh, 1180 megahertz on the memory clock this is the setting I found to be stable to do around 100 um, mega hash without any issues and uh, without pushing the card much much higher i know some guys do 1200 1300 you can push it that that far i know i have tried it and uh, the, this card is able to hold it but i prefer to have it a bit lower and uh, uh, less with less heat on the memories they work very very hot and uh, i'm pretty happy with this with this change I made. This card has been running for a bit more than two months. I had to replace the pads because this uh, running this 24 seven, it's not very easy to, um, to keep it very cool. And uh, the thermal pads, they degradate very fast. So I expect with this uh, mod on the VRMs, on the opposite side of the VRMs, that I can hold this card for a bit longer before I had, have to uh, replace the pads again since it's running cooler and uh, see you in the next one thank you for watching